6 is less than 2 times the absolute value of x minus 3 minus 4 is less than 12. Okay, so it's a compound inequality. This whole quantity here is greater than 6 and less than 12. So here's how you would approach this problem. First thing is you want to work towards the variable, okay, from the outside in. So we're trying to get this uh, variable by itself. So the first thing I would do is I would add 4, okay, to the middle, the right, and the left side of the inequality. So that gives us 10 is less than 2 times the absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 16. Okay, still working from the outside in, and we're going to divide the middle by 2, the left side by 2, and the right side by 2. So now we have 5 is less than the absolute value of x minus 3 is less than 8. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're actually going to split this up into two inequalities, okay, like this. So what we have is we have x minus 3, the absolute value of, is greater than 5. Notice I flipped it over, okay, the inequality. Okay, and we have x minus 3, the absolute value of that, is less than 8. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to solve these separately. So here what I'm going to do, because this is a greater than problem, we're thinking or, okay, and this one is a less than problem, and we're thinking and. Okay, so that's an important distinction. And so what we're going to do is we're going to split this up into two problems. We've got x minus 3 is greater than 5, okay, or x minus 3 is less than, okay, negative 5. Okay, notice I changed the direction of the inequality sign, and I also multiplied by negative 1. If you want to see this from a different perspective, what you can do is you can think of here we're dealing with the positive case. Okay, whatever was in here originally could have been positive, or whatever was inside the absolute value here could have been negative. But if I multiply both sides by negative one, what happens to the absolute, uh, I'm sorry, the inequality sign? It changes direction, right? And so this becomes, we're multiplying both sides by negative one, this becomes negative five, and when you multiply or divide by a negative number, that inequality sign flips, right? Okay, so continuing on, if we add three to both sides, x is greater than eight, or add 3 to both sides here, x is less than negative 2. Okay, for this problem, because it's a compound, uh, an, you know, an and problem, we can write this as a compound inequality. x minus 3 is less than 8 and greater than negative 8. Okay, so this is kind of a quick way of writing these um, problems, these absolute value inequality problems, when it's less than. You can write it as a compound inequality. So I'm going to add 3 now to the middle, the right, and the left side of this inequality, so we get negative 5 is less than x is less than 11, right? Okay, now what we're going to do, now keep in mind that we split this up, right, into two parts, right? If we go to the number line and we graph this, okay, what we have here is we have, let's see, we've got negative 5, we've got negative 2, we've got uh, 8, okay, and we have 11. Okay, so let's graph this one here first. So x is in between negative 5 okay, and 11, right? Okay, and then over here we have x is greater than 8, right? Or x is less than negative 2. Okay, but I want you to notice and see how this is and? When you see the word and, that means intersection or where the uh, solution sets overlap. And you can see that they're overlapping right here and right here. So our final answer is going to be from negative 5, to negative 2, okay, and then also this region here from 8 to 11. So if you want to write this uh, as a solution, you could say x is greater than negative 5 and less than negative 2, or, okay, or means in math, it means union or both, uh, x is greater than 8 and less than 11. Now if you want to write it in the interval notation, what you would do is you would say negative 5 to negative 2 union 8 to 11, and the parentheses, those curved brackets, uh, represent that it's open, okay, so it's not including negative 5, not including negative 2, it's just in between negative 5 and negative 2. So this was a pretty challenging compound absolute value uh, inequality problem, and I hope you picked up some pointers here, and uh, subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other videos on Myers Math Tutoring YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.